Privacy and security experts have been warning about Internet of Things or IoT technology for many years, and continue to do. Internet of Bodies, or IOB technology, falls under the IoT umbrella, and it is currently unregulated. For those who aren't familiar with what Internet of Things entails, an excellent description has been provided on the What is 5G.info website. The Internet of Things, or IoT, as being marketed and sold to the public, is a vision of connecting everything possible to the Internet, all machines, appliances, objects, devices, animals, insects, and even our brains. In addition, the Internet of Things will include artificial intelligence, AI, augmented reality, AR, virtual reality, VR, robots, microchip humans, and augmented humans, or humans with some form of technology implanted or integrated into their biology, to enhance human characteristics or capabilities. Internet of Things sensors and surveillance cameras will pepper our communities as well. New Internet of Things cyber-physical systems will render all objects smart, in other words, connected to the cloud, thus enabling pervasive machine-to-machine, -machine, or M2M communications, and massive data collection, and leaving us open to devastating cyber attacks. In November, Activist Post reported about a Law Review article which revealed legal and social issues, associated with both Internet of Bodies and Internet of Things technology. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Additional scary details and pictures, were provided in an article, published by Truth Unmuted. Entitled, The Internet of Bodies, and Hacking Your DNA. How implantable devices will connect your body to the Internet. The age of the Internet of Things, and soon to follow the Internet of Bodies, is now upon us. The RAND Corporation, the think tank behind some of the world's most influential and frightening ideas and technologies, has released a report titled, The Internet of Bodies, Opportunities, Risks, and Governance. You should be wary of any reports issued by the RAND Corporation. Alex Abella, author of the book, entitled, Soldiers of Reason, The RAND Corporation and the Rise of American Empire, explains why RAND was, and is, the essential establishment organization. Throughout its history, RAND has been at the heart of that interweaving of Pentagon concupiscence and financial rapacity, that President Eisenhower aimed to call the military-industrial legislative complex. RAND has literally reshaped the modern world, and very few know it. With this understanding, there is much cause for alarm with the issuance of this new report. RAND defines the Internet of Bodies as a growing industry of devices that monitor the human body, collect health and other personal information, and transmit that data over the Internet. In order to qualify as an Internet of Bodies device, the technology must contain software or computing capabilities, and be able to communicate with an Internet-connected device or network. An Internet of Bodies device must also satisfy one or both of the following. Collect person-generated health or biometric data. Be able to alter the human body's function. The technology that Hollywood has presented over the years in dystopian sci-fi fantasies, is now a reality. In the very near future, the technocratic overlords of science, health, finance, and big tech, desire humanity to go from wearable devices to devices embedded within our bodies. Internet of Things devices such as smart meters, smart watches, virtual assistants, and self-driving cars, connect directly to the internet, or through a local network, as Internet of Things devices become more commonplace, experts predict that acceptance of and desire for Internet of Bodies devices will also increase. The RAND report predicts. By 2025, there will be more than 41 billion active Internet of Things devices, generating 2.5 quintillion bytes of data daily on environment, transportation, geolocation, diet, exercise, biometrics, social interactions, and everyday human lives. 
This explosion in Internet of Things devices will result in further popularity of Internet of Bodies devices. Figure 1 from the RAND report shows just how invasive and pervasive Internet of Bodies technology can become. By the time it is fully unleashed, no part of the human body will escape its interference. They even plan to have our toilets connected to the Internet, where they will monitor our waste, using biobot technology to determine what we eat, what drugs we may take, and analyze our genetic material. Here are just a few examples of the technology currently being developed. Augmented reality contact lenses. Brain reading and writing devices. Body implanted sensors. Clothing with sensors. Implantable microchips, RFID and NFC. Mental and emotional sensors. Artificial pancreas. Bluetooth connected diaper. Not even babies will be able to escape this nightmare where every bodily function is constantly tracked and monitored. The sad part is that many people will welcome these intrusive technologies because they're convenient and time-saving. However, exchanging bodily sovereignty for convenience is never a fair transaction. It almost always serves to benefit those who desire more control over our lives. Through adoption of technological advancement, humans are consenting to allow technocrats to dictate every facet of life. Soon, doctors will be able to know if you are taking prescribed medication appropriately, and will have tools to report you if you aren't. Digital pills will be used to record your medical compliance, as the RAND report signals. As noted in the article by truthunmuted.org, Internet of Bodies technology requires wireless or Wi-Fi radiation, 5G and other electromagnetic fields, a K-electrosmog, in order to perform. All of these sources are biologically harmful. So there's that too. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video.